Hi, this is Simon Leon from SimonLeon.com and welcome again to my new home office slash recording studio. Today, let's talk about how to set up a productive workspace at your house so you can work and even make your own vlogs at your own home office. It's been several weeks since I announced moving day to my new place on Penang Island in Malaysia, which I talked about in this video. The past couple months since then have been extremely hectic. With new projects, old projects, traveling, live events, settling in, and everything else in between, I really didn't have the time to completely settle in. And so, I didn't get the chance to record an actual live face-to-face -face video like this in a while. I mean, we're not exactly completely ready now either. We still have some blank space on the wall over there and the design, well, let's just say it leaves a little bit to be desired. Under normal circumstances, I still would have been too busy to make this video. After all, we do have two back-to-back -back programs planned for the next two weekends. But then, this happened. As mentioned in this video lesson, the entire country of Malaysia is on lockdown right now. Which means after a super busy couple of months, I finally have some time, at least for a short while, to show you around. So of course, while I do have a little bit of time, I wanted to take a moment to share with you my preliminary home office setup and some of the equipment I use to run my online businesses, internet marketing projects, and my various YouTube channels some of which you can find in the description below if you want to check out all the cool gear for yourself. Overall, simple setup, plain desks, but with black tablecloths on them, places to put things, cabinet space, small couch, minor decorations and arrangements, room to expand. Like I said, it's still a work in progress and I'll most likely be adding more to it as time goes on. But truth be told, that's all you really need in the workspace, right? A space to create, to be productive and creative, to get things done. I mean, it's probably already more than what you need. And of course, if you are an internet marketer, computers and laptops, or if you're a YouTuber or filmmaker, the appropriate camera equipment. As far as said equipment is concerned, you can check out the link in the description to see everything that I use in case you're interested. For my main computer, we have this PC that I recently picked up. You can watch the vlog that explains the entire travel and shopping process, plus all the specs in this video. I also have a couple MacBook Pro laptops that come in handy for my other businesses and smaller projects, as well as when I need to work on the go. Although, to give you an idea on what drives my productivity in terms of an office setup, as you can see, I don't have anything really fancy. For me, I'm more of a minimalist. I like things to be simple with a basic design, so I keep things tidy and neat whenever possible so I can feel more comfortable and actually focused to get things done. Some of you may or may not know, but I actually record most of my videos from webcams, at least the ones within the last year. I started with just the webcam attached on my MacBook Pro, then eventually upgraded to this Logitech C922 for just a little bit of improved quality. It's not the best, but for the purpose of what I do, it gets the job done. Today, I brought in my Sony camcorder from the office for a little bit of a more proper setup, but I plan to switch back and forth with the webcam. And when vlogging on the go or to do some quick handheld B-rolls, this Fujifilm camera also works extremely well. Another one of my favorite ways to capture moments is with smartphones. My main smart device is the Huawei Mate 20X which has amazing image and video quality in my opinion. I used it for a couple of my video intros when I was at the hotels in Taiwan. And well, the intro for this video as well. When vlogging on the road that might require a stabilizer, I may use my Xiaomi Note 2 as it does record in 4K and a lot smaller in size as well 
so it fits way better on my Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal, which doesn't work very well with my oversized Mate 20X. Perhaps I'll talk more about my travel vlog gear in another video lesson, so make sure to subscribe to get all my tutorials on making money with vlogs. I do have a few other smartphones to choose from, mostly older generations of Samsung and iPhones, which don't get used very often. Maybe for other purposes, like how the Samsung Note 5 is attached to a controller so I can play games on it when I'm bored or just want to relax. Back to my home office studio setup. I use a few different machines for work. This includes a couple MacBook Pros, used mostly for anything that needs me to be mobile, such as live events or traveling projects. This desktop PC is designed for heavy-duty usage, especially for multitasking and big media projects, such as mass video editing or graphic design work for my YouTube or other online projects. And speaking of YouTube, as well as other video marketing related ventures, audio is important. So we have a few options to produce better sound. On the camcorder, there's a shotgun mic attached to it, which produces high quality sound indoors or outdoors. Although if I'm a bit further away, we can turn the shotgun mic into a boom mic with this hack where I turned a regular microphone stand into a boom mic setup so the microphone can be closer to me when I'm recording. Our furry friend over here also comes in handy as it doesn't need a battery to run, so we can just plug and go. And if I need something more portable, I also have this lapel mic that I can attach onto my phone or camcorder and take with me anywhere I need to. Got this cute little small handheld microphone as well, which also should be able to record some nice audio. For voiceovers, or whenever I need to record from my computer, I use the Blue Yeti microphone for the best sounds. That's usually what you hear on videos or moments that don't show my face, such as right now. This five panel sound wall is designed to keep outside sounds from coming in and absorbing the sound from within to make the recorded audio even more clear. I'll probably make separate lessons on audio and mics later on, so let me know if you're interested in those. Then there's the lighting, one of the most important elements when creating videos. Again, nothing fancy. First off, a window, natural light that we may use from time to time or close off with curtains if we want more control during the day. We got these bright lights in the ceiling that we can turn on and off whenever we want, as well as this ring light, which can also adjust into different shades and brightness. If that's not enough, we have a couple more softbox lights that can be placed directly on the table in front of me when I'm recording at my desk, and also this extra USB ring light if I ever need to use it. Some practical lighting here and there to make the background a little bit more interesting. In terms of my simple home office and vlog studio setup, that's it. No fancy or overly expensive equipments that are completely unnecessary. In fact, when I first started my YouTube channel in 2006, my first videos were just some slideshows of photos. I used the webcam on my laptop for videos recorded at home. And honestly, I don't even remember what kind of cheap camera I took with me when I did my initial traveling marketing lessons on the road. And in this day and age, everyone's got a smartphone with a camera. And you know what? That is good enough. Don't want to show your face? Use free apps and online tools to put your videos together. It's now more simple than ever. And if you ask me, your gear is not what is going to make you successful. It's your own drive to make the commitment to succeed. Using Picasso's paintbrushes won't make you a brilliant painter. Wearing Einstein's glasses won't turn you into a genius. Putting on Michael Jackson's dancing shoes won't transform you into an amazing dancer. As with all of them, in their art, you also must put in the time, the effort, the commitment. And when you find a motivation to do so, goals that you want to shoot for, a dream lifestyle that you want to live with your family, then that will be your inspiration to go after it. I believe in you. I believe you can do it. And you will. For now, I'm going to get back to settling in and multitasking with some work in the simple home office that works for me. And if you also want to learn more about the things that I do that allows me to live the life of my dreams, including online businesses, internet marketing, and making passive income on YouTube without showing my face on camera or even creating any videos, Subscribe and tick the bell so you won't miss my future lessons. Like, share, and comment below what your favorite kind of home office setup is. Check out the link in the description to see mine. And let's see if we have anything in common. Take action on these things now. Let me know if you have any questions by connecting with me on social media. And, and, 
I will see you, ants, the very top. <laughs>